All right, guys, trial and error. Come on, turn around. Anyway, just be yourself. Um, let's just assume you got, this is a video, let me start over. This is a video basically going over what I said in a previous video about weight pulling. So let's just assume you got the correct harness. I have a light duty harness today because it was the only one that, you know, it was on my person at the time. Um, let's make, let's, um, Assume that you did all the stretches, you made sure that the dog was well hydrated, emptied out, whatever, whatever. Um, next, what I like to do, come on, turn around, turn around, turn around. Um, what I like to do is get them started with something light. So she is 49 pounds and her, her body weight, well, I usually like to run at least half their body weight. Um, so the chains that I run are you are about about 20 pounds a piece. So um, I'm running one, and um, you see I got my tracer, and this is a tracer for guys that don't know. Um, I got my tracer. I got everything. We ready to go, and we're gonna walk this out. Come on. Um, look. Just mind, just make sure you get all your stretches out, make sure the dog good and emptied out, and you can proceed. So I'm gonna snag this here, and I'm just gonna film on the way down. I don't have my, uh, sorry about that, y'all. All right, let's go. The pollen is great down here, y'all. So the pollen is super great. So you wanna start out with something light. I'm only running 20 pounds, G49. Well, actually, no, that's my mistake. I ran 40 pounds the last time, so um, that was right at her body weight. So today I'm doing something a little lighter, which is 20 pounds. And being that I got a light duty, light duty vest or harness, I can um, I can just um, let her run with that. And what you want to do as a beginner, honestly, is is let them boost their confidence. And generally running with lightweight will get them acclimated to it. Um, it. It definitely boosts their confidence. And one thing I know about American Pitbull Terriers is they are prone to low self-esteem, separation anxiety, and a host of other mental <laughs> mental illnesses. But um, basically what I'm looking at, what we're looking at is um, a head case. And this is how I get her confidence boosted by letting her run with something a little lighter, you know, for about the first few weeks or so. And you want to get, let them get adequate rest. You know, that's that right there is a, a must. You definitely want them to have adequate rest because it's very, very vital. And if they're not getting a proper right, proper amount of rest, then you got to think about, you know, a dog operating on fumes, you know, trying to weight pull or, you know, whatever they do. And as you can see, I got the pedal meter right there on her collar. And that right there generally, that is generally um, keep track of her steps and how many, how many miles we're going or whatever. And I just like to keep that handy. But I thank y'all for tuning in. I'm just giving y'all a brief idea and also it's just like you know a human working out you know you can run lightweight and with more reps or you can do heavyweight which you'll get better results with heavyweight and um it's just it's just all around better when you when you're running heavyweight that's, that's, that's. she got a problem staying on one side that's. Sorry about the view, y'all. This is kind of upside down. I don't have my own, the proper equipment with me. But yeah, let's just say you assume you got the correct equipment and um, and you can see the weight's properly displaced. It's not putting too much strain on her. You know, and she's getting a really good workout. She's definitely getting a good workout light duty workout i like to work with you know heavier weight honestly it's just 
you know, it just go ahead and get take it to the you know take it to the point. You know. So I'll tell you what I'll do is um I can just turn it loose and let it run with that run with that weight. And again, guys, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry about the view. It's just tragically gross. But I'm going to um, I'm gonna do this number here. Come on. I'm going to let her take point. So as you can tell, she's really confident with this weight. She's moving really, really well. no strain really but this is what you want to do you want to get your dog acclimated to it you want them to kind of get used to pulling weight you know you want to get them you don't want to just bombard them with 60 pounds and they're like 45 pounds all you know the first time out i mean you can do it but i wouldn't recommend that i would you know kind of ease into it and, and work it like that I mean, it does a lot for him. You know, as you can tell, she she's a good looking good looking jet. I mean, it really does a lot for him. You know, and a lot of times I'll I'll make probably like three or four passes. You know, back and forth, and I keep coconut water on me at all times because it's got short chain triglycerides in it, and it basically aids in hydration i don't want to just give them straight water because they ain't gonna do nothing but just piss it out so i want to keep something with some substance in it and uh, you know run it like that so we're almost at our mark we're almost at our mark i turn around point I wish I could get a better view. As y'all can see, I mean, a well taken care of dog. Awesome representative, representative of her lineage. Um, probably one of the more stronger female dogs I've owned. More driven, I'd say. I mean, I've had some where I mean, they were just freaks of nature. Come on, that's, that's, that's. I've had some that were just freaks of nature. You know, built like brick houses that wouldn't pull 10 pounds down the road. That's, that's. Yeah, she, see, I, she's getting tired because she keeps crossing back over in front of me. So what I like to do is just keep it on keep her on one side and that's generally paying attention to your dog that's one of those things that you have to <clears throat> really be willing to do it's like i know once she start crossing over in front of me she she's getting tired and i know that for a fact so now that's just a little 20 pounder so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just let her run with it I'm gonna let her run with it. Yeah, I think I really think she liked that um half well that's half her body weight. I'm so sorry, y'all. That was my mistake. I did 40 pounds the last time. I wasn't thinking, but forgive me in advance. Well forgive me. Um but yeah. That's half her body weight. And I think you'll get a lot of good results out of that too. She didn't fully empty out. That's kind of one of the only downsides to kibble. She didn't empty out. Um, so if y'all see her empty out, just know that make sure they empty it out before you do this. So once we're done with this, we're going to 
once we're done with this, we're going to add a little more weight or I might just make another pass and roll with it like that. Yeah, she's very confident with that. She's so confident, in fact. And make sure, um, I lost my train of thought there, but make sure that the stifles, the rear, the hind quarters stay in between that um, tracer because otherwise it'll burn a hole in the legs when they're running with that weight. But that was just a, um, you know, a, a reiteration of what I talked about before. Thank y'all for tuning in. Y'all take care, be easy. Like, comment, share, subscribe. We out.